Hi there, this is Molendi Nargos here from latinum.org.uk. And in this video, we're looking at uh, uh, Cornelius Nepos in the Hamiltonian edition. So the text of the Latin has been slightly rearranged to make a simultaneous English translation possible. And they're going to be reading it to you in the Latin and the English in a restored uh, a version of restored classical pronunciation. Um, there are many arguments about restored classical, but uh, this is the way I read. So let us begin with chapter one. Cum Miltiades, when Miltiades, filius Cimonis, son of Cimon, Ateniensis, the Athenian, Unus florerit, alone did flourish, Maximum, most of all, et antiquitate generis, both by the ancientness of race, et gloria maiorum, and by glory of ancestors, et sua modestia, and by his own modesty, quaeset ea aetate, and was in that age, ut sui quives possent, that his own citizens might be able, yam non solum sperare bene de eo, not only sperare to hope bene well of him, sed etiam, but also confidere futurum talem, to trust him understood, about to be such, qualem judicarunt cognitum, as they judged him being known. Accidit, it occurred, it happened, accidit, ut Ateniensis well lent, that the Athenians did want or wish, mitere colonos, to send colonists, cersonesum, to Cersonesus, quis generis, of which type, cum esit magnus numerus, when there was a great number, et multi petarent, and many did seek or look for societatem, partnership, eius demigrationis, of that emigration, delecti Ex his, chosen, chosen people, ex his, out of these, missi sunt, were sent, delpos deliberatum, to Delphus, to take advice, from the oracle, of course. Qui consulerent Apollinem, who might consult Apollo. Quo duce utarentur potissimum, Quo duce, with what leader, uta rentur, they should use, potissimum, with most effect, namque, for, traces, the Thracians, tum tenebant eas regiones, then did hold or possess those regions, cum quibus erat dimicandum armis, with whom it was to be fought, with weapons. Pertia, Perthia, praecepit nominatim, commanded expressly, exactly, precisely, his consulentibus, to these who were consulting, ut sumarent sibi, that they should take to themselves miltiadem, Miltiades Imperatorem, as commander. Si fecissent id, if they should have done that, in capta futura prospera, they would, um, about to be prosperous. Give me a moment, I'm going to pause here, and then come back to you. Mm, sorry about that. 
Um, you won't notice that I was away doing other things, but I was. So now I'm back. Uh, let me um, pick up where I left off. Pertia praecepit nominatim his consulentibus. Pertia commanded expressly to these consulting, ut sumarent sibi miltiadem imperatorem, that they should take to themselves Matthias as commander. Si fecissent id, if they should have done that, in capta futura prospera, the undertakings about to be prosperous, they would be prosperous, they would succeed. Hoc responso with this answer, oraculi of the oracle, Miltiades, cum delecta, Miltiades, with a chosen, cum delecta manu, band, hand of people, profectus, having set out, having departed, classe, with a fleet, cersonesum, towards cersoneses, cum accesisset lemnum, when he had come, to the island of Lemnos, et velet redigere incolas, and did wish to reduce the inhabitants Eus insulae of that island, sub potestatem Ateniensium, under the power of the Athenians, que postulasset, and had demanded Lemni, the Lemnians, facerent id. Sua sponte, they should do. They should do that, of their own volition, of their own will. Illi iridentes responderunt. They laughingly responded. Se facturos id tum, themselves would be about to, that, to do that. Then cum ille when he, proficiscens domo navibus, setting out from home with ships. Aquilone vento, with the north wind, when this set lemnum should have come to Lemnos. Enim hic ventus for this wind, oriens a septentrionibus, rising from the north, and this wind is the prevailing wind in this area of the world. Tenet adversum holds an adverse cursum course, proficiscentibus, proficiscentibus, Atenis to those setting out from Athens. Miltiades, Miltiades, non habens tempus morandi, not having time to hang around, digrexit cursum, directed course. Quo tendebat, to the direction that he did go, que pervenit cersonesum, and arrived at Cersonesus, que pervenit Cersonesum. And that's the end of chapter 1 of the text that we're using. This is um, Cornelius Nepos Lives, a Hamiltonian interlinear text uh, with analytical translation for the use of schools, etc. And you can find this on archive.org and perhaps on Google Books if you are lucky, but definitely Definitely you can find it on archive.org, this particular edition. I'm just scrolling up through the text now to find the um, information that we need to give you the date and so on um, for the book so that you can find it more easily. Uh, these texts are useful um, in some respects if you are learning. Um, so here we have James Hamilton, a new edition. Um, by J.W. Underwood, and uh, this is published by David McKay, publisher in Philadelphia, 1022 Market Street. So you should be able to find that on archive.org. It's a very clear and good copy. And it's, uh, it's a big text. It's got a lot of Latin in it with a lot of running English interlinear. It doesn't have the macrons uh, showing you the vowels that are long by nature. Um, but it does show you which um, vowels are short by nature. So the exact opposite to what we'd expect in a modern text that was marked up. 
Um, it requires you to know some grammar to read it with the correct pronunciation of the vowels. So that's it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that little reading. You can find the text online. Um, I bought myself a, um, a large um, secondhand ebook reader. It hasn't arrived yet, it's um, A4 size, and that will help me a lot because I'll be able to put the PDFs that I read from on the ebook reader um, and um, be able to produce more material more easily for you. And uh, my plan is to go through this uh, bit by bit. I could read it uh, out to you with the text showing, but uh, uh, if you want to find the text, um, you can download it from archive.org, as I said, and put it on your phone, or uh, it's a bit more difficult because um, the text is quite small on a PDF on the phone, at least for my eyes, uh, or on your computer if you're using a computer, or just listen to me uh, as you wish. If you want to support or learn Latin or find out more, head over to latinum.org.uk and you can find out more about uh, the things that I do there. Bye.